I went, okay then. Oh, that's great, isn't it? Do some filming. <sighs> right, here we are at Thorpe Bay, where I, we, we live. Andy sorted the train times out. And we're now getting the... And as you can see, we've got another 25 minutes yeah, to wait. It doesn't yeah. matter so we've rushed here. Cause we've just rushed here. This bullshit. Bullshit. <laughs> I'll edit that out. <laughs> We've rushed here, He'll edit and this, Andy's got and the train time wrong. So it's been a, a good start to really the day. We've really got the 947. However, we're here early. Anyway, let the droning oh, carry on. Right. He's <laughs> so just realised right. by looking with his glasses, mistake. with his father's glasses, right? There's one at 926. These things aren't all On the train. On the way. There you go. It's a long time. Absolutely ages since I've been. When the last time we went, it was uh, in Lewisham. Last night, didn't we? So yeah, looking forward to going there. Finally on the train, Andy copped up all the times, but you know, we're on our way, so give me an update when we get there. So, so it's all ended up badly. <laughs> so we're here. Well, no, we've got to wait uh, five minutes, and then we've got to get off at Canning Town, mate. Canning Town. So what's wrong with DLR then? DLR's fuck, mate. It's not going to the XL. Yeah. What we've got to do is we've got to get off at Canning Town. All I want is a room somewhere. <laughs> Hello, mate. Right, here we are at the XL. Finally nice. arrived. In strange are, northern please. accents, I don't know why. <laughs> you didn't want one, so you haven't got one. Oh, I didn't say that. You did say that. <laughs> Alright, guys, so we're walking into the XL and we're looking for the show. It's been the same hall as it was last year, I think, so let's see what it's like when we get there. At least the queue should have died down a bit. Hey. We're in. We've got our here goodie bags. Go. <laughs> <laughs> There we go, so we got in the bag today. So open the bag up. Yeah, there we go. I'll show you what you got in there. So we have this guy in the uh, the salute. In the goodie bag this year. Let's have a look. Hold on, let's lay this out. We are a magazine. Absolute magazine, excellent. We're just showing all the uh, what's happening today. So well produced that, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. An excellent uh, well, obviously, the beauty about that I love yeah, about this the fact is you get for your money is that it's all everything's in yeah. colour now, so you well, can see everything got. well detailed. So we have figures. We've got a ah, that's the figure I told you, didn't I? You didn't believe me when I said you're going to get a woman. Walking yeah, the which you said you saw. Yeah, did read that somewhere. Anyway, you did. excellent. That's great. Next time, yeah, excellent. Good. <laughs> it's the flyer. And, and oh. That? Okay, promotional model of a necromancer, Legion Excellent. of the Black Sun. Legion Perfect. Legion of the Black Sun, nice. He so looks good, doesn't he? Does look good figure, actually. Tell me, this is great you come here. I mean, that's yeah. like £10 to enter, and you get all these freebies as well. Excellent. Good. All right, let's, let's go, go and enjoy. Happening, then. And the queues have all gone, thank God. You hot in there? <laughs> thank you. Drowned Earth miniatures game. Oh, we'll have to have a look at that. How are you, alright? Yeah, not so bad. Yeah, I'm doing a video of the show ah, on YouTube. Um, and I've just been saying what great products are you produce from Zinj. Thank you very much. Very good indeed. I was looking at some of the quality of your, your stuff, it's amazing. Thank you, yeah. We so, do try, uh, we try. Yeah, no, you try very well. <laughs> That's the thing. Yeah, a whole lot of new stuff this time round. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, with gas lands and so on. They're not quite out yet, but uh, basically. Everything yeah. there corresponds to the rules and yeah. so on. So there's all the uh, different weapons and track options and so on, and rams, and around the other side there, and race posts. So we've tried to cover up all of that. Yeah. Um, they yeah, really well. It's lovely stuff. A new six wheeler at the bottom. Now, I've got always got your stuff to add to models and like change stuff. So do a lot of conversions and stuff. Yes, so it's that's been right, yeah. really good doing that. But um, yeah, excellent. How are you finding it, all right? Yeah, it's always mad busy here. Yeah. 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 <laughs> all right, brilliant. Thanks for that anyway. Thank cheers. You. Cheers, thanks for actually um, B Forge. Yeah. 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 There's a lot of the old sci fi stuff out there, isn't there? This is P Forge. Yeah, that's nice, isn't it? You know exactly what Oh, wow, it's very smooth. 
excellent cars. Thank you very much. These ones at the top are, lots yeah. of people are um, putting them quite a lot. Really good, yeah. yeah. What are they made of? They're resin. Resin, yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. Excellent. Made by me. Made by you? Made by me. I you're know that they're resin. No, no, I'm oh, you're not. Okay. Them old. <laughs> I'm, not I'm not that fancy. So this is a, a game that you've designed as a company to play, is it? And you've yes, designed yeah. the miniatures as well. Yeah. Excellent. Um, so what would what would it cost me if I was to um, start from the so scratch? From scratch. So from scratch, yeah. you either buy a board game like this, yeah. um, Devil's Run. Yeah. Um, which is set up set as a two-player game. Okay. Um, it's a post-apocalyptic board. Excellent. Board game. Best racing game. cars. Yeah. Shake some dice. Try and shoot the other people. Who so, are also trying to race cars, cars is always a good mix. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Brilliant. So the cars in this one are one-piece racing. Okay. There's an expansion called Miles Massacre, which is down there. Right. Well, is this the expansion for it? Yeah. Okay. So, They're lovely miniatures, aren't they? Oh, yeah. in that one are multi-piece, okay. so you have to put them together before you play. Yeah. But you can buy each one and play them independently, buy them both, put them together. Brilliant. So you've got more vehicles. Um, lots of the vehicles in here are expansion vehicles. Yeah. So um, sometimes people buy them just to paint them together, but sometimes people buy them because so they're So you've got the basics the in the box. Yeah. yeah. And what sort of price is that? So they're £40 today. Oh, they would normally be £50. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's pretty yeah. good. Okay. Excellent. You know? Um, I'm a big American football fan, so this looks interesting to me. Okay. Uh, would you like to explain it? Can I have not the erudite one. Oh, okay, cool. All right. On that table over there yep. is, is Andrew, who Andrew. designed the game. Yep. He can I'll, tell you everything I'll about it. Okay, He's much better brilliant. at talking on the camera because I forget all my words. It's no worries at all. And this guy's going to try and cover him. Please don't succeed. Good. I didn't want that. So he hasn't managed that success. So I've now got a thing. I know he's covered over there. But if I don't come over here and get someone covered on him, he could just run off. So this guy's going to come across as support and manages it very successfully with a plus four. So he actually hassled you backwards and covered you. Right. And then my line marker is just worried about so he gets two up to there. And then I need to put some pressure on your quarterback. So this guy's going to go one, two to here. He doesn't have to invade because these two guys are under the hat. Okay? Right, and that was my first phase. Now we're on to the second stage, which is the uh, highlight reel. So you move a player, and then I move a player. Every time you activate one empty, then actually the minus three for throwing there is, is uh, there's a plus three for being in the zone and set because you know, if the quarterback turns around and half back just standing on his own with no one covering him, he can throw it off, dump it off. You do you realise you're trying to explain this to a New York giant, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep, 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 it, keep it civil, lads. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a 49ers fan, so I've got absolutely no room. Well, I'm a Raiders fan, so I'm still waiting for glory. Yeah, <laughs> one day. One yeah, one day. the 80s, that was, that was one of, you know. <laughs> That's what I say about the 49ers. I say, we're like Liverpool. Well, this doesn't work anymore. No. Got good. But I used to say, we're like Liverpool. We wear red and we were good in the 80s. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Liverpool, you're good. Right. So, Brad, yes. SSWG, one of our fellow players. So, uh, how are you finding the show, mate? Loving it so far. Yeah, yeah, it's good, isn't it? Bumming in the people that I've played before at different tournaments. Yeah. Obviously spent loads of money. Uh, that's always a good thing. Yeah, got that and a backpack full. <laughs> you got to have the you got to have the backpack. It's, it's a nerd nerd item, isn't it? Of course. I've got a beard, yeah. so I might as well have a backpack. No, I must admit there's some good <laughs> What are you saying? There's some good <laughs> interesting stuff here this year, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah, from what I've seen so far, it's quite impressive. So. I'm just so, looking for an airworthy case. To an take airworthy, my yeah. Gurkhas and Chindits across <laughs> to Poland. Yeah, could you? This, uh, this guy is actually taking part in the. Is it the world? I don't know what it's called. Yeah, he's Buses taking part in a big bolt action in Poland, yeah? Yeah, it's oh, a world. And you're representing world. Wales? Yeah, I've excellent. got Welsh ancestry. Yeah, so. Yeah, haven't we all? <laughs> yeah. Now, excellent. So, there is down the club, there's going to be a big tournament, isn't there, soon? Bolt action. Uh, I've been the weekend after Poland, which oh, I will make. I'll do a report on that whole thing. So uh, yeah, the, the three good men. All right, excellent. Yeah, we did, we did the last one. We we won it last time. Excellent. Bye -bye. All right, well, good luck in Poland, mate. And you. Take care.
Let's go there. Is it one, one three hundred? Greens. You see that? You just think there's some suicide is painless, don't you? Yeah. Suicide is painless. Exactly. Right, moral victory, Tim. Yay! There's plenty more hill where that Let's came from. Let's just remember that, just a little yeah, snapshot yeah. there. And when you go home tonight, you want to tell them of Don't this and say. Massive. There. <laughs> Roll over to your rifles and go to your gold like a soldier. Oh, I love it. I've got a book for you, mate. Uh, let's go up this time. Okay. Well, let's do these bits and then we'll go up that one. Oh, Glory has been probably <laughs> in business longer than I've been. I remember when, when I was a kid, I remember Old Glory. So, name of the company, I know it's obvious. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Hi there. Uh, where Pig Iron Productions. Pig Iron, yep. Yeah. You've been going quite a while, haven't you? Sorry? Pig Iron. How long have you been going? Uh, the firm's been going since 2005. Yeah. We've owned it for three years. Well, I'm really interested in these heads that you've got here because they're. Um, I do a lot of conversion work and a lot of my models I use are converted. So I love the fact that the scale on them seems to be correct, which is really important because I've, I've ordered stuff from abroad from different companies. And when you get them, they don't quite fit. I've got some bare A's and stuff, and they're just slightly different scale. Absolutely. Well, we're trying to achieve the 28 millimeter all heroic scale. So yes, just that scale, they are. Yeah, that yeah. little bit bigger. They're about that 32, aren't they? 30 sort of thing. 30, 32. And they're a little bit more bulky than normal as well, aren't they? They are. Yes. Brilliant. Well, you've certainly done it with So these. the Imperial Breaking. Guard figures that they're on with, they yeah. fit very well. But there are Breaking. a number of other companies as well that they'll replace as well. Yeah. Brilliant. Really good. And your prices are excellent as well, I've got to say. When people tend to buy from us, they do tend to buy full armies, particularly when you're looking at the colony militia. Yeah, just, it's just such, such good looking stuff. Troopers. It is just such good looking stuff, to be fair. Excellent. So right. we try to keep it reasonably priced because we're gamers ourselves. Exactly. Um, and the other thing is that we're making a good living out of it, so we don't need to do any better. That's it. Well, there's, there's the big company that charges a lot already, so, yeah. <coughs> no, really good. All right, thanks for that. Thank you. Piggy. Brilliant. Thank you. Piggy. Absolutely cracking. Really good quality. The models now are getting so good from the new from the new manufacturers. So you are? Shed Games. Shed Games, okay. So these are your miniatures. They are. And they're very nice, I must say. Thank you. Uh, also in Coral Monsters, extra detail at the back. It's normally a very good yeah. It's good for friends, all their young ones. So what's the idea behind them then? Um, obviously, they're just miniatures for purchase in the game. They're going to be added to uh, my game. Yeah. Which is a Victorian yes. horror game. Okay. Uh, the base game is. What, like Cthulhu, that sort Cthulhu, of thing? So it's true Victorian horror. Oh, uh, okay. So it's Invisible Man, Frankenstein's Monster. Got ya, got ya, yeah. Uh, yeah. In London, that yeah. Kind of yeah. Thing. Brilliant. Uh, my first expansion um, is more of a classic theme, so it's like Jules Verne, 20,000 Leagues. Yeah, like it, so yeah. Heavy Dice, Dice of Steam, but you'll die as well, how it's fantastic. Brilliant. Yeah, um, that kind of thing. Um, 
Excellent. So yeah, these were all going to be folded into that game. I'm with you. Yeah. Excellent. Well, good luck with that. Sounds good. So uh, when's when's it all going to be? I mean, how much will it cost somebody starting off in that game? Uh, the base game is already out now. Okay. Um, yeah, so it's a board game. It's a yep. dungeon crawler. Yep. Uh, it comes with full 3D resin tile sections. For Excellent. You to play on. Yep. Uh, the game itself is 65. Okay. Um, we've got various expansions already, which are different stories which we go through. Yep. Uh, they're normally priced at about the eight to ten pounds uh, price range, and each one of those is a new story you can play with a new tile set, a new monster. Excellent. And how's it doing? All right. Yeah, very well. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, yes. that's good. It's nice to see like new different versions of the hobby, you know. Yeah. It's, um, uh, I mean, these days some of the sculpting and stuff, and the way the hobby's moved on, is fucking fantastic, isn't it? Yeah, it's incredible. Yeah, it really is. Yeah. All right, we're well, good. Have a nice day anyway. Thank Cheers. You. Thanks. It's an awesome effect it's got there, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah. It's like a walk gate. <laughs> yeah. She is. Isn't it? Really clever. Right. She's just. Step through. Put your finger through. See what happens. I like all these little lighting. See, I like, I like things like this. It's like interactive terrain, isn't it? I like stuff that's. Uh, like the light in there is awesome for that. No, it's 1600, isn't it? Well, yeah, of course it is. 1790s yeah. is the bloody, uh, when they did the, uh, the yeah. Irish Rebellion. Yeah, this one went over after the Civil War, when uh, James, James V was up for the point, wasn't it? 1689. Yeah. Different, isn't it? Great fun. Yep. So what's the idea of the game? The idea of the game is to have fun. Excellent. <laughs> uh, that's a good like beginning. Like toy soldiers and have fun. That's a good uh, beginning, but yeah. But uh, that's the emphasis of the game. Yeah. Uh, it's a bit of uh, so role-playing aspect to it. Okay. Uh, we've made a rule system that... Right. So There's a rule system that you've written yourselves, or...? Yes. Uh, in the rules, it's, it's, a, it's a mechanic that can yeah. like, climb a tree or yeah. jump down or yeah. and whatnot. And um, it's basically just putting the more difficult things they are, more epic things they yeah. want to do. Yeah. Say, like, I want to do a backflip and stab that one in the back. So uh, it's heroic you, stuff. And, yeah. yeah. Uh, and you agree on gentlemen's cup <laughs> okay. how difficult yeah, it will be. Good. And uh, if you fail, um, stuff, uh, you know, work it out yourself. And yeah. what we want to be is that we make something that is common, uh, no, general, universal. Yeah. Uh, enough that people can do it on a whim. And we go. Excellent. And agree on 
So do you, so you need somebody a bit like-minded then as well? That helps. So this what's it called? Not, this is not a tournament game. It's called uh, uh, Ark World. Ark World. Yeah. Yeah. How much is this one, William? Um, and it's, it's a new edition coming out. It's basically just a refining of the old game. Yeah. And it's, um, so the, these guys have action points. They spend their action points. You play this now. You say, I want this stuff. And then you spend their action points doing that stuff. Yeah, OK. And, and what we, what we want to do is, is have, so I've got another AP, have people have fun even yeah. though they lose. So even if they lose. It's a lot more in depth then, in effect. It's, not it's a lot more involving for the player. Yes. Excellent. It's, it's, it's a bit borderline role-playing game, actually. Yeah, cool. And, uh, Seriously? Thank you. And, and, um, it's, it's not like you have a soldier with armed with spears. No, it's not like you have a character and you want to equip him with a spear. Gotcha. But it is a bog standard halfling kind of character. Okay. It's not a hero, but you, all of them are customizable. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Uh, and it's. Um, it's based, uh, so I like so like you said, it's a game based around fun. Yes. It's like Alex Huntley, which makes everything. He says yeah. that after all, we're grown men playing with toy soldiers. Yeah, that's right. So uh, just embrace the. Let's just play. Brilliant. So, yeah. Oh, excellent. Thanks for that. And we have these two factions, the Wild Elves, which are more like uh, the Avatar. Okay. Right. Kind of. Yeah. Um, and you have the. He's got, he's not talking. I'm going to try. Where is he? He ripped my man apart. Two Avatar. Yeah, and you have the Hawkwinds. Uh, I'm more uh, grim than the Tolkien ones. Okay. Oh, and then you have the uh, Polyonic humans, which are human, yeah, based on Polyonic humans. Uh, yeah. With uh, yeah. jackets okay, so and yeah. top hats. Baywalks were uh, uh, orcs, but in um, Mississippi, Tennessee, oh, right, okay. rednecks Brilliant. with with a hooch bum. And redneck big, orcs. Redneck orcs, yeah. Excellent. And you have undead pirates, but not too much unlike the uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Pirates, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bit that side. Um, and you have gremlins. Yeah. Oh, so you just place a monster. That guy there, he plays a troll. That's okay. his army. Right. So you can go. I love dragons. Yeah. I want to play with that one. Yeah. Um, so that's not running away. That's the Oh, thanks for that, mate. You're welcome. Oh, I take cards. Yeah. Yeah. Al, card payment. Sorry, I thought you said, have you got a card? No worries, don't worry. This lady done excellent last year, got all my order ready for now. Oh, I got all my order for me when I got here last year. Oh, yeah. I ordered it online. And yeah. yeah. I'm wait I am waiting for somebody else, but they haven't turned up yet. So, I have to be left there. I'm waiting for you. Yes. 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 And the halfling thrower. That is 150 then, please, Which one do you like? I like the fire Lovely miniatures. Alex, the sculptor. You. He's the sculptor. The sculptor himself. Yes. No, they're really nice. I like them. Designer, sculptor, yeah. everything. Yeah, really nice. His dad does the resin casting and I do the packing. I'm, I'm, I'm logistics, I'm the packer. Yeah. Well, every good company needs a good packer. Yeah. No, they're really nice, very special. I do customer service. Oh, this is the game we've seen on demo over there. You talked about it, isn't it? Yeah, it's lovely. Not bad for one guy doing all the yeah, amazing, amazing. So what's the name of this Arc World? Arc World. Okay. So is it your own uh, gaming system? <laughs> So this is your own gaming system rules-wise as well? Is this your own gaming system rules-wise as well? I have worked I have worked with people to kind of get it to where it is at the moment, yep. but the most current edition I have been doing is the, the writing. Brilliant. 
the UK. And it's very much like a creatively like a one man yeah. kind of thing. It keeps me out of trouble. Ish. Yeah, good. Yeah, ish. No, it's lovely, really nice. Have you looked at the game? Yeah, we saw it over there. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Oh, thanks for that. Brilliant. Okay. Cheers. Available? When are they available? Uh, first week of June. Okay, brilliant. First week of June. It's nice. Yeah, really good. Awesome. It is, but it is all good. It's all new stuff. Yeah. yeah. The world wins awesome, isn't it? It's not the last one. There's detail on top of it there. No surprise. Absolutely sorry. Oh, it's awesome. It is. Whirlwind, 20 years old, yeah, 40. Yeah, no, no, Street games. Yeah. Yeah. Street games. Yeah, street games. It's like the other ones I've read. Yeah, that's what it is, isn't it, basically? So this is Turf War, yes. and it's a, well, it says Z, zombie-esque. Yeah, That's alright, no worries. So, yes. so Turf War, yeah? Turf War Z, yes. Yeah, so the Z is obviously zombie-esque. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the, the principle behind the game yeah. is it's specific, you know, generally gang of survivors okay. fighting other gangs of survivors based in LA. So the zombies are an overall threat. Yeah. So you can either play a survivor v zombie game yeah. or a survivor v survivor game. Yeah. And the zombies can be played by a third player or AI controlled. AI controlled. They have right. a, a mechanism, sort of like a domino effect. As long as you follow the steps, Excellent. Yeah. they don't have to have a specific zombie player. You can also have multiple gangs on yeah. the table. You don't have to have two. You can so have they fight four, over objectives five, and six. stuff. And yeah, basically, it's all about uh, tough laws. Okay. Uh, controlling and cleansing areas of your tough. The more gangs you have on the table and the more points you have per gang, yeah. the more zombies come on every turn. Okay. So you can start off, it's like a computer game, you have like beginner, yeah. moderate, expert level, yeah. uh, and there's a table in the rule book. So if you're going for two gangs at uh, 200 points each on the beginner stat, then you'll roll X number of zombies will come on. Brilliant. But if you're going for four gangs at 300 points on the expert level, a lot more zombies come on every turn. Right. So it gives you a chance you, as you get the handle of the rules and become better at the game, you can progress through it to make it harder for yourself. Uh, the gangs are all metal, yep. they're multi part figures. So you get the torsos and then you get sprues of heads and sprues of so arms and weapons. And, stuff, yeah. and you can customise it as oh, much okay, as you want. Cool. Uh, 
Yeah. So how much would the game cost for somebody starting off starting from the ground out, up? Starting then you basically would be looking at £20 for the rule book. Yeah. Uh, the gangs are £25 each, okay. so you would need two gangs. Yeah. Uh, and then the the cheapest way to get zombies on the table is with their plastic box set. Okay. So a box set there of 60 zombies yep. is £30. Uh, so at the shows, we do a deal. The and there's 60 zombies in 60 there. Point, yeah. Oh, that's not a bad deal, is so it? So basically it's a 50 pence per yeah. uh, figure for the zombies. Two gangs and a rule book plus 60 plastic zombies would give, set you back £90. Okay. That's not bad at all then. But, yeah. well, it's a and film. it's different, isn't it? That's it the is. Thing about yeah. it. It's a different uh, game. How the, long would the game take to play out? Uh, it entirely depends on your table size yeah. uh, and how familiar you are with the rules. Okay. Uh, initially we recommend that you start off with a basic tour player game on a basic 200 point gang which yeah. will get you the seven figures per side yeah. uh, and that will, you'll be able to play that within a couple of hours. Oh brilliant, yeah. but so a club if, night. Yeah. But if you want to add in extra gangs and take it up from like a 3x3 three three or 4x4 four four table yeah. to a 6x4 and you have maybe four gangs then obviously it Excellent. could take a, a, a whole afternoon. Okay, brilliant. Well, thanks uh, for that. No problem. The the chap that wrote the book, uh, the rule book, Dean of Broken Spirit War Games, is working on a campaign system at the moment. Oh, right. So that will come out later on this year, and it gives you rules on how you can progress your gangs and gain experience. So if you're doing a, a game, uh, and the, there are rules for climbing buildings, yeah. jumping over gaps in buildings, yeah. all these things, if you're playing in a campaign system, you take note of and you gain experience for the you know, So you've almost got a bit of a role playing element to yeah. it. So the yeah. cross between uh, a war game and a computer game. Yeah, like, great. Yeah. It sounds really good. It's all right. <laughs> stuff there, isn't it? Mm. Guitar, look. <laughs> yeah. That's great. Right. So, what's the uh, idea behind the game? Do you mind talking? Killing each other. Killing each other. <laughs> well, yeah, that's, that's a pretty war gaming thing, isn't it? It certainly is, dude. Um, so, when you say key things, what do you want to know? Well, just what what is the game about? Okay. So, the, where's it set, etc. You know, it's it's set in an alternative timeline. Yep. So, if you imagine that in Earth's history, this massive event occurred, okay? okay? And in, in our game, it's so what's the, the name of the game? Wild West Exodus. Wild West, Wild West Exodus, Exodus, which is yeah. a, a, this one is a skirmish game within the broader world of the dystopian era, yeah. which is basically set in that, like I say, it's, um, it's a time where super science has occurred, okay. and the reason for that is the arrival of an alien force on the planet. So yep. this alien force, if you kind of picture it like an energy being, yeah. So this energy being settled into loads of different places in the world, and then wherever it settles, 
starts to convert matter around it. Okay. And humans have found this converted matter and have started using it as a power source. And all the kind of glowing orangey stuff you see on the miniatures, yeah. that's this power called RJ1027. Ah, it's right. like a wonder okay. element. Yeah. But what the humans don't know is this is actually of an alien origin. Okay. And it has a corruption. So the more you mess about with it... Is that hence some of the figures have got mutations you got stuff? it. You right. got it. You got it. Okay, so yeah. what it is ostensibly is... After the development of super science, the world has gone to war for this technology. Yep. All the scientists of the world have banded together to create a faction called the Enlightened. Okay. And they're selling these wonder weapons to all the major powers, growing rich off of the profits of war. So the world is at war on a massive scale. Things are starting to move towards a world conflict way yep. before anything like that ever happened. But we're very big fanboys within War Cradle, so we draw in lots of different elements into our game. So we've got aliens, yeah. we've got mutants, we've got gods, all kinds of crazy stuff all on this kind of theatre. Sounds good. Cool. So yeah, Wild West Exodus represents the battles and the things that are going on in the Wild West. Right. So even though you've got these world-spanning powers, people like Wyatt Earp and Jesse James still I'm got still their jobs there. to do. Yeah, yeah. Um, at the end of the year, we're releasing Lost World Exodus. So if you've ever been a fan of the old Doug McClure films yeah, from the yeah, Antarctica yeah. and yeah, the big yeah. rubber dinosaurs, yeah. that's where we're going with the game at the end of the year. And then we've also got over there Dystopian Wars, which is our small-scale ship Base game, okay, which yeah. represents the conflicts in the broader sense of the term as people are trying to secure shipping lanes yeah. ready for invasion. And as we go forward in time, the game allows us to pick different areas of the world and then zoom in and see what the conflicts are like over there. So if you were to start off in this game, yep. uh, Wild West Exodus, how much would it cost you to get a basic set to play with your Dude, mate down the club? Good question. Our starter set is £35. Pounds, That's good. And that comes with, other than the table, that comes with everything you see here. So you've got Wyatt Earp and Jesse James, okay. plus their factions to get you started. Comes with the cards, the dice. So these are the starter set figures here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. These ones here, I'm just setting up from the last demo. Okay. So this is the Forces of the Lawman. Yeah. This is the starter set. And this is a. This gives you around about sort of 500, 600 points. Okay. So it's a nice starting force because our game is a deep skirmish game. So you don't need 100 models to play it. Good. In fact, this as a demo game is one of my favourite games because it's just so bloodthirsty and brutal and fast and yep. deadly. So both of these sets of models come in there. All the cards. Yep. Uh, dice, tokens, everything like that, all comes in a set for 35 quid. Right. Or alternatively, you can just go home and download it all for free. Oh, okay. All right, you need yeah. to do then is just find Buy some figures. figures. And so your rules playing. are free. The basic rules are free. Not just the basic. The full rule book is that, absolutely that, that's free. That's the way the hobby's going. Absolutely. I like that. That's the way. Absolutely. It's free. Yeah, and no, it's not a slimmed down version of the rule book. No, it's yeah. not like a get you by until you spend some no, money. No, that's it right, comes yeah. with you've got like about 45, 50 pages of rules and then a good 150 yeah. pages so it's of fluff like in there. An unnameable company that brings out a rule book and then several modules that cost you 150 Dude, quid. it's too easy yeah. to beat yeah, on yeah. the unnameables. Yeah. But no, I mean, we want people to play our games. Yeah. Not only that, we want local gaming stores to be able to buy in our game yeah. with a minimum of risk. Excellent. So, like, you know, if you've got a little shop in the corner, they can get in a decent amount of stock without taking massive, massive risks. Yeah. And the return on it's great. So obviously, um, we sell all our product at our recommended retail price yeah. so that the stores can do their 5, 10, 20%, whatever they want to do on top of that. And we'll never undercut the stores because we want people to get into their friendly local gaming store, play games, and have a giggle. Sounds great. That's pretty much what West Exodus do. Brilliant. Well, thanks for that. No. So, more members of SSWG. Hello. All right, more geeks. I haven't done it yet. I'm about to buy them now. So, because I've, I've just started on the. Um, actually, I'll tell you what we were talking about the other, uh, the other day. Perry's. Perry's. Just have a look at those. Some of those. Yeah, yeah, they're lovely. Really nice. Really nice. Yeah, so, yeah, what, what scale is bolt action? 28. 28. So, Rubicon. Are they 28? 28. They're 28. Yeah, yeah, Rubicon nice figures. Stuff. Are nearer to Perry's because yeah. they're more lifelike. Yeah, I the love the vehicles. Over there, yeah. The firewall, yeah. Yeah. The vehicles they got. Huh? You want Facebook? Yeah. Uh, the old Pink Panthers. Yeah. The old I can't remember the name. Yeah. Uh, I'm only on Facebook, yeah. Facebook as War Games Guru because yeah. I don't like nice. Facebook for myself. So oh, okay. they're really nice. They're not cheap, right. but they've just they've got an, they've just released a range of SS. They're all metal. They do LRTG, the old Chevy trucks, uh, offensive miniatures. Oh, okay. They're on one of the. Oh, that'll suit you, Andy, because you're quite they're offensive. They're offensive. I'm, I, apparently, I'm quite offensive. You're offensive, you'll get on well with them. <laughs> We've only got up to here. We've Brilliant. Absolutely awesome. The game used to be used to be.
been looking to work in the right way. I know what I could do, use those for. Do you want anything for your channel? Yeah, definitely, mate. Right, do, do you want anything to be with us? Or? Yeah, I am. Right, okay. Yeah, oh, yeah. Is he still alive, yeah? Yeah. Hi, um, I'm Owen. This is Peter. We're Peter. from Creature Caster. So we distribute Creature Caster models in the yep. UK now. We've got resin models manufactured yeah, uh, stateside, you know, hand poured, high quality resin models. We've got paint ranges, we've got brush ranges, brush soap. You know, we, what do you want to know? What, what do you, what hey. the people watch your channel want to know? Well, this is the, this is the thing. I'm a bit of an eclectic war gamer, so yep. I do all stuff. So it's a relatively new channel, so I'm starting to build it up gradually. Well, okay. Um, but basically, um, what sort of price ranges are your models? Because right. they're pretty to, impressive. Right, we've tried to price our models competitively. Yeah. So if you take this sort of model, the two models, the model at the front and the middle there, yeah. you're looking at like. Uh, 54, 5460? I think it's 5640. 5640, yeah. yeah. Okay. So you're looking at like a fairly large resin model. Yeah. You compare it to what other oh, companies exactly, do. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, it, we think it's really good if we value. Compare for these money. to the unnameable company, these are incredible, to be honest um, with you. What we find is, like, I deal with all customer complaints, yeah. not just in the UK, but all through Europe. Yeah. And we, I've in what right. ten months, yeah. never had a single casting complaint. Lovely. Yeah, we, Lovely. we get a few complaints. Oh, you, you didn't ship this. So yeah. We forgot that in the box. But we only give it one. I mean, the castings do look very sharp and very clear. Yeah, very so, nice. So the, the casting quality is excellent. Yeah. And uh, we get we get customers emailing it. Love the model. Yeah. Can't wait to build it. I just opened it up and I built it and I can't wait to paint it. You know, the nice excited people. So. Everything's hand poured resin. It's yeah. got no fillers in it. Completely, oh, yeah. completely pure resin. Like very durable compared to a lot of other Fantastic. resin. Products. Have you had many people using the painting competitions and stuff yet? You can see them in the comp in the painting competition today. Good. You can go and see our models. We didn't set it up. We didn't give them the models. Yeah, yeah. They bought it on their own back. Yeah, they no, because they do look that kind of model, model, don't they? Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, and we Excellent. just had our very first ever uh, resin beast painting competition yeah. that was at Adepticon. Uh, we had some fantastic entries in that. You can see that on our Facebook at CreatureCaster. Um, and, and yeah, there's some fantastic So what's pieces. the plans for the future? Well, our goal is to get a new scale of model out. Yeah? Okay, and so, what's the scale? So we've, traditionally we've made models about this big. Okay. We've got a range of models oh, yeah. this big. So they come with set base sizes which are 40 mil and 60 mil. Uh, so the, these ones come basically a 60 mil base. The other ones, our largest ones come on 100 mil. We're now doing a 40 mil, which is our matriarchs. We just okay. sort of have those on the preview up there. These are the matriarchs up here, right? Yeah. So there's a set of three. Um, it'll be yeah, up on the I'll come back around again in a minute. Oh yeah, I'll see you. And those are basically the leaders of our infantry. The infantry will be coming on 32 millimeters. Okay. Um, and yeah, we basically have full full faction planned. We have six different demonic factions, and we plan on having nice. having you know the kings, the lords. So the have you got the rule system and stuff. There's no, there's no rule system okay. right now. Okay, so these models. are going to be factions to be used in other games. If you yeah. want to buy these models to paint, you just want to buy them for your own experience. Yeah. You want to use them in your games. Yeah. It's how you use them that matters. Well, yeah? you can see where some of them would definitely fit straight in anyway. They're excellent. Yeah, really yeah. Good. We definitely keep the proxy market in mind. We do have yeah. our own lore and everything we're developing. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, we'll just see where things take us in the future. Brilliant. Alright, guys, thanks. Brilliant. Good luck. Thank you very much. I'll uh, send you